stuff because yesterday was extraordinarily busy, but it, I'm catching up. This is um, going to be episode 18 because you've just got 17. But it's brought to you by these following tank toppers and we have Ronald Organ from Ross, and I'll put all these where they're from, Kim Pentagrass from Oak Harbour, thanks Kim, uh, Nikki Pryor from Brentwood, thanks Nikki, of Sticks and Stones Creations, oh nice, I'll check that out, Dan Puckett from Laverne, thanks Dan, Jenny Purse House from Beechwood, thanks Jenny, so this taking care of business is with Tracy Hart, now I've met Tracy in the club industry, she works currently for Concilium, but she does have a little bit of a consultancy firm here as well. So thanks, Tracy, for looking after today's episode. Baby, you come knocking on my front door. The same old line you used to use before. I said, yeah, well, what am I supposed to do? I've been sitting here now for what feels like 15 minutes because Damien said grab a chair. I'll go and get coffee. But you know what he's doing? He's chatting. He's no doubt found someone and he's chatting. So um, we're going to have a little chat about yesterday's ride, which I didn't film. I grabbed one tiny little bit. And we'll just go through the day in a minute. But uh, I'll just wait for Damien's coffee. We're going to clean the bikes today. And we're, we're booked another day because I'm exhausted. Yesterday's ride in the heat was just extraordinary but it's quite cloudy and cool today and this is such a cool town. This is at the base of the Sawtooth Mountains. Where the fuck is it? Oh. minutes later. Got his coffee. Come on. There was a long queue. Like, oh, oh, slower than a week. Poor girls. Poor girls. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. You know, I mean, give them a break. Be, on, be honest because he bullshitted in the last one because he feels that he's just whinging all the time so he made up a nine for that one. Okay, I asked for a double shot this time. Yes, because he's you learned know, his lesson. Because, you know, double shit will be shit. Yeah, up. it's going to be shit no matter what, so it's still shit. Catch him. It, 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 it's just missing the mark, I'm sorry. Out of ten. Um, so it's probably about four, five. I'll give it a five. Five. Just because yeah. of the effort. Yeah, well, I can wait in 20 minutes for a freaking coffee. Okay, another fail. Really, I, I only can remember two coffees that have been worthy. Do you know, I was just talking to a lady. Yes, we know. We were waiting here. We know you've been chatting. And she said to me, the best coffee is in Seattle. Yeah, correct. She, well, we, do you know the first mark I gave? We need to go back and increase the value of that because I thought it was going to be better. But that's Seattle. I'm almost going to give them nine and a half now. Okay. Well, I'm not going back and re-editing. No, I think you should. Okay. We're going to wash the bikes now, look around, edit, relax, get this episode out. We're sitting on a rooftop bar in Ketchum. We love this town. We're right near, look at all those hills around us. And we just ordered a burger and a fish burger and wine and we're having a drink. And here comes my ice. Hey! <laughs> Blackened cod burger. So that was, that was 20 American. Mine was 19 American. It's perfect. It's delicious. And this is made with mashed potato. This Bread, potato. We are in Idaho, the potato capital of the world. That looks amazing. They do their burgers so well over here. And this is the main street of Ketchum, and we're going into here. Okay. Apparently, they do great margaritas. Here we go.
just like to draw your attention that 1953, the fashions then, were exactly the same as they are now. That's how everyone looks here, exactly like that. We can't forget the ladies. This is a 1939 Miss Idaho beauty pageant. Gorgeous. It's hard to think about what you wanted. It's hard to think about what you lost. This doesn't have to be the big get even. This doesn't have to be anything at all. I know you really want to tell me goodbye. <laughs> he put the money in and the thing stuck. <laughs> Come on, you shake the fucking thing. Shake it. Can you shake it? I give up. Both of them too. Two of them. No, that one's caught in there. <laughs> oh Jesus. Fixed it. <laughs> Just took a bit of muscle. A bit of muscle power. Oh, fuck it. I was ready to smash the glass. I don't care. <laughs> oh, I don't <laughs> No one's going to get in the way of my snacks. <laughs> How beautiful is this? It's glorious. We're looking, I think they're the Sawtooth Ranges. I think we're riding over them tomorrow or something like that. Mm -hmm. More mountains. Now, it's beautiful out here, but I, I know you're going, I hope I don't get eaten alive, but they don't really come near me, the mozzies, like no, they do they'll, you. They'll go past you and come to yep. me. So. So yesterday's ride from Jackson to Idaho Falls, you found a, a fantastic way, which you got footage of that, and that you've done. You're going to do a one of your road reviews on that. Yes. And then, um, so that was beautiful. And then we got to Idaho Falls and had lunch because we thought we might stay there again, but we were feeling brave and thought, "Fuck it, we're going to go to Ketchum," which was like three hours. In 35 degree heat. Yep. In the middle of the day. Yep. Yeah, that was, that was sort of not clever, but we got here. It was, oh. like, it was hard work though. Oh my God. We made it. Yeah, that was good. And then, but, so that was basically just straight road for three hours. And we went through, uh, a, a, what was that place called? The, the world's first no, Arco. Atomic. Arco. The world's, the world's only atomic powered. First. First, first atomic power i think it's probably the only town one. town then after arco we were coming into like it were moon craters did you notice though so? everything around it was dead yeah it was very eerie eerie sort of stuff and then um the crater area i managed to snaffle a bit of footage of that because i just dragged my camera out of the out of the um while you're riding yeah really I, just, I wanted to sort of stop but you didn't oh, want to just get bitten no, I just had an itch. I'm, they don't come near me. Sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. Really knackered last night. We had a went out for a meal, which was ridiculous. Two bloody plates of pasta, two drinks. It came to ninety dollars <laughs> with a ten dollar tip. A hundred U.S. dollars. That's like hundred and sixty bucks for, for a two, plate, two plates of pasta. Yeah, that's, that's friggin' just bullshit. So so expensive. And anyway, um, anyway it, was, it was nice though. I, oh, I yeah. enjoyed it, but it was um, yummy. He wanted us to go back the next day, today. I don't yeah, think so. No, no, that's not, that wasn't going to be on. No. Really good. Ketchum's a lovely place. Beautiful I place. like it here. I think it's a little bit more upmarket though. There's a lot it's more supposed upmarket. To be, oh, look at this bird. It's supposed to be the most expensive place in Idaho. It is. Yeah. So tomorrow we're going to have a great ride over the Sawtooth Ranges and Stanley. But what about the people that ride with no helmet on, yet they've got their <laughs> chaps? Their vests or their coat, their gloves, yep. but no helmet. So it's like, I, make, I want to keep everything from the neck down fucking pristine, but I don't give a shit about my head. But everything so goes fast. faster. It's ridiculous. Even the trucks. Yep. I can't Very believe fast. the trucks are just doing 120 kilometres. I know. And what about? Overtaken. I know. Scary. There's a few moments there that it was too fast for me. Mm. But what about the people? They take dogs everywhere, don't they? Oh. Take we had a dogs. We have a restaurant. 
restaurants, dogs going to restaurants. At the airport, people had, when we were getting on those planes, yeah. dogs. And what about here, in the motel? Yeah, dogs. Dogs, they've got room for dogs. And they have a dog shitting spot at the airport. It's called a doggy toilet. A doggy toilet at, at, at LA airport. Yep. What the fuck? I don't know. Discuss Walmart. What about Walmart? It's good, isn't it? It's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, we didn't see any of those famous Walmart people walk, that walk around. No, but no. Certainly. With the, with the um, kids hanging off. But what I couldn't believe, in the middle of Walmart, there's a gun and ammunition section. Yep. It's like. unbelievable, isn't it? And much drawing of late. That, that guy I spoke to, and I said, are you packing heat? He, got, and he goes, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. What? Uh, it's just part of life here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's weird. But it's, it's going to be concealed. My pens are all a bit gone a bit what, weird. Yeah. No, it's gone. Well, this is fucked up. What the fuck do you do well, there? No, I'll fix it, but... It looks uh, like he's got a wart in the side of his eye. It's that my pens have all all gone funny and yeah, it looks all right. Don't touch that. That looks good. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Oh, look at the size of that friggin' beast. Look at it, mozzy. Yeah. Where was it coming? I can actually see it flying away. That's how big it is. The margaritas, so they free pour their spirits. No wonder I'm pissed when we come out of those things. I'm going back to mocktails. I think I don't think I'm much of an alcohol girl. No. No. That's okay. I don't know, but I'm getting eaten by a mosquito. I can hear it. We'll go in. I'm done. Anyway, I just wanted to sit out here and have a chat. And they give you two keys. Why do you reckon they give you two keys? One's a spare. Right. Where are your, where's your two keys? For what lock? They're together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting eaten. I'm getting eaten alive. Can't oh. be your... What's that? Lights have just come on. Lights? Lights. Cool. I like it. Please don't have to be the people